hello everyone uh, welcome to another video uh, hope everything is going well with your driving license preparation so first of all i i wanted to uh, thank everyone for all for subscribing and and checking my videos uh, it really encourages me to make more videos and give more information and and i really hope that my videos are helping you out uh, also i wanted to uh, uh, i wanted to know if there is any particular topic uh, uh, that you want me to make video on uh, and if there is anything uh, you want me to uh, discuss on then please feel free to uh, suggest in the comments uh, i'll try to make the videos or i'll try to explain it uh, uh, as as best as i can in this video i'll talk about the road map uh, road map to your driving license uh, from starting to end uh um, so this this can be useful for absolute beginners uh, like who want to get a swedish driver license but they don't know from where to start so uh without further ado let's get started the first step is you need to take an i test uh and then you need to uh, apply for a learners permit so these two things the the information about this you can get it on the uh, on the transport skills and website so once you are done with this i test and getting the learners permit then uh, if you want to take a uh, if you want to take some classes privately uh, then you need to have a uh, introductory you need to take an introductory course also so uh, so once you have taken this three uh, i would suggest you should you can book your exam so uh, so um, you just go to the transport skills and website book your theory and practical exam uh, maybe a one month gap between both would be better uh, because just in case if you fail your uh, practical exam then you can again rebook your exam uh, and then you'll have time to rebook so usually i think it's like 6 months or 4 months gap I, i'm not sure so uh, so if you don't uh, give your practical within that time then you have to give the theory and practical again so so that way you can plan accordingly so first book your exam both theory and practical and once you book your exam then you will have a deadline so once you have a deadline in mind then you will have this motivation uh and also a bit of and also a fear uh so so that you you take your uh, your uh, theory and practical seriously so once you have a deadline you will you will do that next is uh, i would suggest first first see first make use of all the free resources available and then once you have done with this then you can go for the paid uh, subscriptions and all so for for the so first is we start with theory so for theory uh, uh there are uh, there are uh, many things you can do so first one is the theory book so if you have if you if you have access to a book then grab one and try to start reading the theory but in my case i did not uh, uh, i did not uh, check the book at all so i i check this uh, i shortcut uh, app uh, as well as website so it, uh, the the website is i shortcut.nu and the app is called i shortcut lite uh, it both are free so uh, the the website if if you are comfortable reading in a desktop then i would suggest you can check the ishorecode.nu uh, website but uh, but to me it feels like it's better to have it in a mobile because mobile is something that you have access all the time so whenever you have free time you can go through the theory i i'll i'll tell more about the app so ishorecode light app so there there are many tabs uh, one would be like the license game and then theory road signs uh, and so on and so forth so, so the important things uh, in the ishorecode light app is the theory and road signs so in the theory tab you will have all the all the information about uh, the theory it will be more it will be very uh, detailed and very topic wise so first i would suggest uh, first try to complete the theory as soon as possible uh, you don't have to read it in details just try to get uh, get an overview of what exactly uh, is mentioned in the theory and what needs to be done you don't have to uh, go through the theory in details just just give uh, just read an overview of uh, of what's written in the theory just try to finish the theory as soon as possible uh, with some basic if you want you can write down some basic points which you understood from theory so this will be like the first iteration of your theory then you can uh, you can start your practical class so i would suggest before practical class if you can finish the theory that will be great because once you start your practical classes it will be very easier to to relate what you learned in the theory so so it's it will be like a practical implementation of what you have learned so that way you will remember that uh, forever so uh, that will be helpful and then um, i would suggest try to read theory in in between your practical classes also so just try to like start the theory and then finish it and then take a practical class and then again start the theory and try to finish it so try try to read theory Uh, as many times as possible uh, i would say at least four to five times uh, before your theory exam would be a very good uh, 
chance of uh, of passing your uh, theory and practical in first attempt because because the core of everything is 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 the driving theory so you need to know the rules traffic rules road signs etc uh, by heart and then in practical uh, in the practical classes you have to implement them so once you do that it will be very very easy for you to clear the exam next is risk one so uh, so for risk one uh, you can do uh, do it after the first reading of your theory so risk one basically talks about the uh, uh, the consequences of driving uh, with uh, with uh, drunk driving and with alcohol in your blood and then fatigue and so on so uh, this you can do it at any point of time uh, but i would say uh, maybe after reading the theory if you if you do the risk one then it will be more clear uh, to you the, the concepts and all they will be more clear to you and then after finishing the risk one i would say take some practical classes let's say two or three classes and then go for risk two because in risk two you will be asked to drive Uh, drive a car and that too on a slippery road so if you are not comfortable driving then don't uh, go for risk two so maybe two to three classes when you are comfortable holding the steering uh, like moving the car forward and so on then you can go for the practical uh, the risk two so after completing the risk two uh, let's uh, just like uh, let's say you have uh, 20 to 30 days before the theory exam so then you can go for a paid subscription so either you could go for a test series that is uh, that is available with a with a driving school or or for example in my case i did not do that i i took this uh, subscription from i sherco type and then they have this uh, test series and and the good part is it's it's unlimited time so uh, unlike other places where you have like one month or two months um, subscription here you you have it like forever so that way you have more time so uh, i took this uh, i sure got subscription and then i i played this license game so license game i would i would definitely recommend a license game because it is more a more a playful way of approaching the theory so it won't be boring so that way it will be like a game so you have to go through levels and so on so it becomes very very uh, comfortable and convenient after completing this uh, driving license game and uh, and the mock theory tests you have to go on giving the theory tests uh, again and again again and again and then see how we are scoring so uh, initially maybe when you start you may be doing 70 or something 70% but later on you'll get, you'll get better and then 80 and then 90 so once you get 90% consistently like in the last 10 5 to 10 exams then i think you are ready for the theory exam so i i have a detailed video on on how to prepare for the theory exam please check my video there uh there i'll i have given a practical i have shown uh, the app and how you can reset the uh, tests how you can reset the game and then play again so i would say you can you can do that uh, again and again so the more you repeat the more uh, uh, the more the theory becomes clear and more the theory becomes clear more it will be easier for you to pass the both theory and the practical exam once you have cleared the theory uh first is congratulations and then now you can entirely focus on the practical exam so now theory is complete you have the theory at the back of your mind now now try to take more classes and try to focus on uh, focus on your exam uh, as much as you can and in the practical exam i would say before the exam uh, it's it's a good idea to take uh, two mock tests or or at least one mock tests from a from a driving school so the the teachers who teach in the driving school they are very well aware of the rules and and so on uh, so it will be very uh, so it will be very important to take their feedback uh, to to just to know where where exactly you are uh, standing in your uh, driving license preparation so any suggestions that they give take them positively try to implement them in them in your next uh, driving um, uh, exam and i would say why this mock test is important is let's say uh, you have not taken a mock test and you give the practical exam so practical exam costs around 15 1500 sck so if you fail that exam so you have to again give the exam which is another 1500 sck and also you have to find a slot so it it might be uh, difficult for you to find a slot in the next let's say 2 3 months so in that case Uh, if you don't get a slot within the said duration then you have to again give the theory and again the practical so it's it's a big bit of hassle so instead of that i would say take a mock test if you are not if you are still not confident take another mock test uh, learn from your mistakes and then uh, once you get a good feedback from the driving school then uh, you can go for the real exam uh, and i also have a video uh, created for the exam tips so please make sure to check the video so this this is not specific to uh, exam you can uh, go through these tips any time of your uh, during any time of your driving uh, license journey uh, so if you keep these tips at the back of your mind every time you do a practice uh, class or every time you do a mock exam then it will be very helpful uh, for you so please make sure to check the video
uh, video uh, link will be in the description at any point of time one thing is very very important is you need to uh, you need to do improve on your observation skills so uh, by observation skills i mean uh, uh, so far that you don't have to go to a driving school or anything just uh, just just observe the observe when you're in a cab just observe the cab driver how he's driving and when you're in a bus just observe the bus driver how he's driving wow how he or she is checking the road signs how how they are indicating how they are checking the blind spots so this skill is very important and that will be helpful to uh, during a driving exam and also checking the road signs and uh, in addition to in addition to looking at the driver you also need to check the road signs that are coming up on the road so this way it becomes easier for you during the exam